Sometimes, despite knowing that the character isn't as juiced up or as meta as you would like them to be, sometimes you still have to roll for them, and in this case, that's Cersei for me. Hi, welcome back to another Revive Witch video. My name is Lace, and today we're going to be doing pulls on Cersei because I freaking love this character. But not only that, I will also be discussing her as well because, um, she is in a very, very contested spot, let's put it that way. And so I only have pulls to go up to 70 pity, I think. I think I might be able to hit this guarantee over here. And with that being said, let's get the show on the road. So let me hit the 10 summon for the discount of the 50%. Give me the juice. Just give it to me. Please, please just give me the Cersei. All right, that's looking like an SSR. It's not looking too hot for me now, so I'm just going to skip it. We do get a Luan. All right, skip, skip, skip. And it looks like we are... Okay. All right, <laughs> this, is, uh, this is this is not good. I can already feel it, guys. I can already feel the bad luck, but uh, that is how it is. So if you guys didn't know, I hope you guys have been doing this. But pretty much every single banner, we get like a 50 gemmy rebate if you do do the share thing. And so that is how our first temple is going to tragically go. Uh, we do get a quite a good number of these like gold leaves and stuff, but it's not Cersei. All right, and so let's hit it again. Please, 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 please just do a good thing. And it looks like we are getting another SSR and no Cersei. Okay, wait a second. I don't have Viola yet. That's um, that's uh, that's kind of okay. Honestly, with the amount of pulls I've done, which is probably like 500 or 600 plus, I'm surprised I don't have this. But with that being said, we are going to go into our 30 pulls. Come on. Give me the juice, and it looks like it's another SSR. Okay, okay. What what is this crap luck? It's a uh, it's an Ushpia dupe. It is what it is. Honestly, guys, I am feeling the hard pity. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to fail the soft pity, and then I'm going to have to go to hard pity for this. And that looks like uh, no nothing. I think that's a nothing, right? Don't even get a yeah. Oh my god. Oh no, not like this. Not like this. All right, all right. Okay, I see. I see. I have nine pulls here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get out of this, and I'm gonna go buy an, an extra pull just to make that into a tenner, so I can use that. So let's come into the silver shop. I think I'm just gonna grab one of these and and pray. Let's let's freaking pray. Let's do another tenner. How how deep are we in? Holy moly, we are deep. 40 pulls now. All right, so let me hit the redeem. Let me confirm and let's do this pull. Okay, another tenner. Please. Oh my god, I'm already in um that's an SSR. Why am I getting Are you serious? Another new SSR? That's oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What are these rates, man? These rates are so freaking bad. All right. Uh 38 left, so this is 28 left. I think we go again. Of course we freaking go again. We go for the coin flip. Holy moly. Are you Oh my god, this game is so frustrating sometimes. Seriously, I I don't know if I can handle this, man. I don't know if I can keep going on. All right, and it looks like I have one more temple left, so maybe we'll get lucky, maybe we won't. Okay, 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 guys, we're here, we're here. I think this might have been pity, though, so... Oh, please, please, big prey. Big, big prey for the Cersei. So first up, we've got the Krosh, and next we have the Eulalia. Next, we have the Fae. Cersei, 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 Cersei. Ruda is next. We've got the Primula next. And we've got Primula again. We've got Yurugu. Come on. We've got Typhoon. We've got... <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm going so slow, but this is uh, this is horrible. Miku. Mmm! <gasps> mmm! Oh! Mmm! Oh yeah, thank freaking god, man. Holy crap. I don't know what I would have done if I lost another coin flip, but to be honest, I've won quite a fair few coin flips in this game so far. Looks like I am still hooked on Revive Witch a little longer because Cersei is like chef's kiss. All right, well, I hope you guys were as hyped as I was in pulling Cersei. And if you guys did end up pulling for Cersei in this banner, then let me know how you guys went down in the comments below. How many pulls you did? Did you get her or did you get freaking spook wrecked? But with that being said, let's go on. And oh man, I am so, so freaking relieved. Yes, I did just destroy my Catherine fun, but sometimes it is what it is. So with that, let's start discussing Cersei because like, Honestly, if you're a meta chaser, Cersei is not it. So my guys, here is Clone Lancefield's database. I want to talk on here because it 
just it just gives a very very good like representation of everything that's available and so let's have a look at Cersei herself and let's go through her skills first and then I want to say where she could potentially fit in the meta or like why she doesn't really I guess all right and so let's go for the level five let's juice that up and juice five 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 I mean sorry five five two and so starting with the first skill frostbane deals magic damage equal to 300% of attack to a single target and this also applies frostbite okay reduces the target's magic defense by 300 this is actually not correct here we are in game and as you can see it reduces the target's magic defense equal to 40 percent of cersei's attack for 10 seconds and so for those of you who have used the mage maya huel i think that's how you say her name this is going to be a very very familiar skill to you and so to be honest like that's a really really awesome skill like a magic defense shred there is no better skill that a mage could have. However, I just called her a mage and that is not exactly true. As you can see over here, she is a compeller. She is a Mercury compeller. And so just by being in Mercury, that's already gimped Cersei already. And on top of that, she is a compeller. There are already quite a fair few compellers. But just because somebody is a compeller doesn't mean that she is obsolete. So let's just go through the rest of her skills and then talk about that. So again, 300% magical damage to a single target and applies this magic defense down for skill one on a two cost for order skill it seems okay but it's like honestly pretty standard again i am quite fond of the magic defense down let's move on to the chaos skill so here we've got a four cost chaos skill it deals magic damage equal to 100 percent of her attack to all enemies every 1.5 seconds and then every single additional cast of this skill increases the damage of this skill by 15 percent for 15 seconds stacks up to five times and so as you can tell this is like purely purely a dps skill there is no utility in this I was really really hoping that it'd be like Pakanez where she does some freeze or something considering she freaking summoned like a blizzard to freeze the entire world but she doesn't seem to be able to freeze enemies from her kit if she had a freeze or a stun she would definitely have shot up on like a tier list for me however this is what it is uh yeah it's it is what it is so she does have some decent mobbing in her chaos skill her skill too however her last one Cersei's enemy is marked and takes 50% more damage man that's Honestly, that sounds really, really freaking cracked. Because on her skill one, it's a magic defense down. And on skill two, it takes 50% more damage. If I'm not wrong, in terms of equations, these two affect two different parts of the equations and therefore they don't cap each other out. What I mean by that is magic defense down, I believe caps out at negative 1.5K. Whereas this guy over here, I don't think that there is a limit on this as far as I know. Like this is essentially like a vulnerability amplifier or like a damage amplification. Generally in game design, this is a post calculation mechanic. And what I mean by that is that it takes the attack and defense, does some damage calculations, and then this 50% more damage thing is applied after that. Whereas on the other hand, over here, her magic defense down, it actually is a pre-calculation mechanic. So attack and defense with the defense down and then do the calculations, a pre-calculation. And so after it's calculated, then it applies stuff like this or like crit damage. So in the department of damage dealing, I think, I think she is going to be quite strong. However, the one thing that is really holding her back is the fact that she is a compeller. And the thing about compellers are that their base stats are actually crippled. So just having a look at her Ascension 4 level 90 attack stat, that's 4.7k approximately. Now that's without any equipments at all. So if I go back and uh, let me bring up another character. So let me bring up, uh, I've got my Ushpia over here who is a mage. She is at 5.8k at level 13 Ascension 4 with no equipment. On top of that, her skills are not even maxed out. As you can see down here, she is going to get another 615 attack. And so while Cersei is technically like a damage dealer compeller, it's really hard to say whether she can compete against mages or not. And the reason that I'm pitting her against the mages is because, well, she doesn't have any utility to make it up. Cersei doesn't do any healing, she doesn't do any CC. All she does is the magic defense shred, which is, it's frankly, Frankly, it's just not enough. Again, if only she did like freeze or something, maybe they'll give that to her with her unique equipment. Then I would think that Cersei definitely has a place in the meta. However, at this point, I would say that even Ashpia as well as Maya, they both have more utility than her. And so if we were to compare her to Amanami, who is another compeller, on top of also being of the Mercury type, let's have a look at her skills. She has a heal as well as an attack boost. But not only that, she is also operating on a charge system in 
in which she does AoE damage, as well as providing a damage amplification, probably post-calculation, as you can see here, increases the magic damage taken by 30%. And the thing about charge skills is that like they're always going to be useful, right? They're just going to sit there and they're going to be dishing out these like these effects, which is so, so good. And then for Amanami, on top of that, she also is going to be increasing the allies damage dealt. I can understand why Amanami is like always ranked top tier in terms of Mercury compellers. And so the last comparison I do want to make is against uh, what's her name? Gorveig, who is also a Mercury compeller, but really she's a transformer. So she doesn't like really really do like the same things that the others do. Like the places that you use Amanami or even Cersei is definitely not the places that you would use Gorveig. Gorveig is a really, really strong soloer. However, I guess she is classed as a compeller because she does do the magic defense amplification. So whilst I don't think Cersei is going to compete with Gorveig, I think she certainly competes with the Amanami, the Maya, as well as the Ashpia and literally any other AOE mage. And I've already emphasized how awesome Amanami is, so from that that regard, she's not going to be replacing her. As for Ashpia and Maya, like, <sighs> unfortunately, there's no reason why I would take Cersei over either of those units. You guys already know Ashpia. Ashpia is famous for her stun as well as the AOE damage, the massive, massive damage. And then Maya, on the other hand, she does have the heal over here, heals all allies for 15% of attack. But on top of that, if I come back over here, her skill to summons the power of stars, blah, 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 blah reduces magic defense by 5% of her attack up to 50%. This is already massive considering like first of all it goes up to 50% but not only that she also heals on top of it with the passive that I still have not unlocked. And so you can see why Cersei really really struggles to actually find a place unless like with some actual playtesting she ends up doing a lot more damage than everyone. However she's got to be doing like a lot a lot of damage for me to be able to you know make her a mainstay of my team. That's not to say that she's not going to be a mainstay in my team honestly like the content in this game is so freaking easy that I can I can definitely run Cersei for the rest of my life. And so that brings us to the question, should you roll for Cersei? If you're feeling like me and like saying screw the meta then freaking go for it my guys. But in terms of like a meta comp it's very, very hard to recommend for everything that I just said. I think she just gets outclassed by Ashpia, outclassed by Maya, outclassed by Amanami, potentially even outclassed by Pakane, just simply because of all of this utility. And so from a meta chasing point of view, I, I cannot recommend rolling for Cersei. All right, that's uh, that's really freaking tragic, but like I hope you guys do understand the rationale as to what led us to this conclusion. But otherwise, I am going to leave it there. So you guys do let me know if you end up rolling on Cersei and how you guys feel about her. Did you feel my assessment was a little bit harsh or was it was it kind of fair enough? Whatever your thoughts may be, do let me know down in the comments below and I would really appreciate that because it means you've watched up until the end of the video and so thank you guys so much. But otherwise, if you did like this video, then please consider actually leaving a like and if you do want to see more of me and my content, then please consider a subscribe as well. But otherwise, as a Cersei once said, it's really freaking sad, but like she's freaking cool. She said that all good things must come to an end and so so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.